All right, before I start this review, I want to thank everyone that um, left some positive feedback on the two videos I uploaded last night, the emptying my mind videos. Um, it means a lot to me, the people that posted nice stuff on those videos, because I was really hesitant to upload them, because they definitely are really different from my regular YouTube fare. I my camera on for just a half an hour one night, it was about a couple days ago, and just talked. I'm glad that most of you took it the right way. Of course, I have some idiots that focus on the fact that I'm a Christian and just cannot get over that. But yeah, thanks for all the cool people. <laughs> all right, so let's get to duplicity. Well, I was actually really excited to see this movie once I read a lot of positive reviews. I like the cast, you know, Clive Owen, Julia Roberts. Um, the real people that I was intrigued by is um, Paul Giamatti and Tom Wilkinson. And sadly, they're not in this movie that much. And I do think it hurt the film because I think the scenes with Paul Giamatti are the best scenes in the movie. Tom Wilkinson barely has any thing to do with this film. I didn't like it all that much. Well, I liked it, but I was really expecting better. It seemed, it's just one of those films that's totally controlled by its complex structure. And with a complex structure like this, you really need to be into it. It needs to be a lot more involving than I thought this film was. Because the thing with this complex structure, it's not really that much of a mind game. Like, it doesn't give that much away every time it, like, goes to a flashback or something. Like, it's definitely not as twisted as, like, a film like Memento. But if you've seen Memento, you know that that movie is told backwards. And about every part of that movie, you find something else out with the story, and it all starts to make more sense. But this movie, I was mainly just confused throughout the entire thing. Narrative and the plot and the structure was just so complex and so twisted that at times I found it impossible to get into it. You can just blame it on me and say that, hey, close enough attention or something. But um, I just didn't think it was a very good narrative. There were some parts I actually really liked, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I actually really liked some of it. I liked the ending about the last 10 minutes or so. I thought it was really good, but I cannot just get over, I just can't get over the fact on how confusing some of it was. I think they should have settled down a little bit. And I think there just needed to be some point in the movie where they just did something different, you know? Just take a break. Just have some humor in there. Just do more Just do more with the characters. We don't need constant, oh, now we're going to steal this. Now we're going to try this. It's just, you know, it just get, it got a little repetitive. I just wasn't into it as much as I thought I should have been. The big reason why this movie is getting such positive hype is the two leads do do very well together here. There are some really funny scenes, you know, I kind of, I, I really like the characters here, you know, how they're in this kind of twisted romance where they like each other but they can't trust each other. I like that. They have some really good scenes together, but what the whole plot, really what the whole film focuses on, this big whatever they're doing, um, I don't think it worked out very well. I really don't. I think, um, they should have spoon-fed the audience a little more. And I usually don't say that very much, but this movie was just too complex. And I just found it very uninvolving. And many critics are saying this too. I know there's going to be people that are going, you're just stupid, don't blame the movie because you can't follow along. It was just, it was just too complex, really. With this kind of movie, it's not like a dark, suspenseful movie. It just needs to be fun. And I just thought it was too comp. I just thought it was just, just too twisted of a plot to really get into it. And I can't really explain it that much farther into that because to tell you the truth, I don't know how to. I thought when there was humor in there, I thought it was really enjoyable, but I don't think there was really enough humor and just not enough Paul Giamatti and Tom Wilkinson. <laughs> really that simple. The whole film really was Clive Owen and really it's too Man, I feel bad for not saying very many positive things about it because it's really not that bad of a movie. It looks great. It's a very stylish film. Great direction and all, but... Yeah, I expected more. I'm kind of disappointed. But, you know, it was all right. I think it had some good moments here and there. Definitely some boring moments. It started out pretty boring. Like, it has a... Like, the very beginning, I really liked it. I'm like, ooh, this film's going to be good. Then it kind of took a break. I'm like, eh... For a review that I said nothing but negative things, this really isn't all that bad of a movie. I think some people are going to like it. Just pay close attention and just be ready for not the easiest movie to follow along with. It likes its plot twists. Really, you'll be lucky if you know if you know if you can recap everything that happened at the end because just at the end it's no, it's this, no, it's this, no, this person did this, no, they actually worked for this, and ugh. 
But yeah, it's an okay film, you know. Overall, I'm going to give Duplicity a 6 out of 10. Bye. <laughs>